There are nearly 620,000 FAA certified pilots in the U.S. That may sound like a lot, but since 1980, the number has dropped by 25%, while the population has grown 40%. One reason is the ever-increasing expense of training. It now costs about $10,000 to obtain a private pilot's license, the most common certification. A group of young Central Florida engineers is developing a flight simulator that may help change that. The name of our simulator is the IFS Eagle. It stands for Immersive Flight Simulator. The simulator is a new groundbreaking flight training device that bridges the gap between personal computer trainers and really expensive, bulky, full flight simulators. Brandon and his partners are using off-the-shelf hardware and software, but combining them in a novel fashion. What's new about the simulator is that we're integrating new virtual reality technology that just hit the market. It's affordable, it's immersive, and it's a high definition. Virtual reality applications have been used for years, but the visual perception of motion without the right physical sensations often causes nausea and other unpleasant effects. By integrating the virtual reality with the motion, it allows the user to operate the training device for extended periods of time without getting disoriented. The Talon Simulator offers two major advantages over existing flight simulators. This is a portable full motion simulator. Usually a full motion simulator would fill this whole hangar with the equipment and they're millions of dollars. Talon's product is price ranged at about $20,000 and it's completely portable. A flying instructor, if he's portable, would be able to pack up the simulator, take it to a different airport, set up with about 30, 45 minutes. So the potential is there, he can move around to two or three airports in one day. The simulator is also designed to make the training process more efficient for aspiring pilots. It really immerses them in the aerial environment so that you can reduce anxiety when you get into the aircraft. You learn uh, procedures and policies on the ground that way you can maximize your time up in the plane. The project originated while the partners were still undergrads. The simulator all began for our mechanical senior design project at the University of Central Florida. The summer before the class started, we put together a team. We found some funding and we got the idea approved. What I liked about the project, it was relevance to today's technologies and training opportunities for those who want to do some pilot training. I have a pilot's license myself and I could relate to their project, so I was able to give them even better inputs and feedback. Since completing college, the talent partners have continued to refine the simulator. These are AC induction motors and uh, they're driven by frequency drive amps. And that was a different motor control than what our very first project was. This is more of an industrial application for high fidelity. So it's a lot more a higher reliable system. We'll be adding more degrees of adjustability to our simulator with our next prototype. And that will include adjustability with the legs, um, with the yoke mount, and with the throttle quadrant, as well as where the seat will be positioned. But as with all great ideas, the road from prototype to commercial product is a long and arduous journey. Talon is part of a UCF program that aims to transform promising student projects into viable business enterprises. As part of the National Science Foundation Innovation Corps program, it's a 10-week course. We, every week we go and talk to customers and report our findings back to these instructors who critique us and help us learn the business side of things, which has been really beneficial for a group of engineers who have little to zero knowledge on that. This kind of teaches us engineering students to venture out and go talk to people and network and to get a different experience. As part of that outreach, the talent team attends public events like Atronicon at the Orlando Science Center. We're collecting data basically on who is riding it, the amount of people, their age group, and their experience, whether they're a pilot or not, and then uh, the amount of nausea, if any, that they were developing from it. We had 460 people use it, with only 3% of people getting any sort of nausea. 20% of them actually ended up being pilots, so it was really beneficial to get their feedback. If these young engineers can reach the end of their long road, their simulator could have a major impact. It has potential to revolutionize the industry of flight simulation. Any individual that is desiring to obtain a, a pilot's license or more training, it will make 
that training that much more affordable and more people will be more interested in getting the pilot's license. The Talon engineers see their mission in even loftier terms. For the future, I'm really hoping to see us grow into the next generation of simulation and training. We really want to be a part of the growth of industry and we want to save lives and change lives. Watch full episodes of SciTech Central Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. on WUCF-TV.